Hi everyone, it's me Marjo. Um, today I am going to attempt to make a dress. Now, warning: I am not a seamstress. I don't know much about sewing, but with the knowledge available on the internet and by watching lots and lots of tutorials, I am going to attempt to sew a dress. So let's get this little project started. Here I have a black shirt that I thrifted a long time ago. The only reason I got it was because of the beautiful rose velvet print on it. For the skirt, I have this black tool mosquito net kind of material. And for the sewing, I am using this antique sewing machine. I bet it's even older than me, but it gets the job done. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the sleeves. Then I'm cutting off the collar. I don't have much of a vision, but I'm just going with the flow. Hopefully, it turns out good at the end. So the next thing I'm going to do is take in the sides to make it more fitted. For my straps, I'm just cutting out whole pieces from the sleeves. First stitching them wrong sides together and then flipping them over so that I get four even straps. The only thing left is now to attach these straps to the top and it's done. Moving on to my skirt. The skirt material is really really long so what I'm doing is cutting uh, the material in such a way that uh, the length as well as the breadth measures 59 each. So it's like a square uh, with corners measuring 59 each. So all together, I have six pieces of such squares. Now, I'm taking a square and folding it twice and cutting a small portion of it in this manner. This is going to be my waist. Next, I'm taking my measuring piece and measuring out 26 inches and drafting a half circle through this square. Uh, this is going to be the length of my skirt.
so this is what it looks like once I open this piece it's just like one big circle with another small circle in the center I will be doing this six more times next thing I'm doing is a layering two circles and drafting a straight line and cutting through it Stitching the wrong sides of each of these layers uh, so that I get a bigger and a fuller skin. So this is what it looks like once you stitch the row edges of the two circles. The next step is to make a single stitch around the waistline. To gather the fabric, just take a loose thread like this and pull it gently. It's not for me to say you Now that I have all three layers ready, I'm just going to combine them and stitch the waistline. For the waistband, I'm just taking some leftover material, cutting them, and trying to adjust the waist. The only thing left is to add a zipper. I've never done it in my life. I'm going to try it and we shall see how it goes. So this is my completed skirt. I did my zip but this broke and I replaced it with this grey zipper. Uh, because I couldn't find an extra zip at home and then I added a hook I mean it's not the cleanest work not the cleanest finish but it will do and this right here is my top this came out better than expected I really really love this detail this uh, print um, yeah, it's so beautiful. Now, let's put this on. So, this is the final product. Um, it's not the best out there. It could be better, but I'm proud of myself. I love the top. It came out good. I wish it was a little bit more fitted, but I'm happy with it. I really really love how the skirt came out it's full it's fluffy I love the fullness of it I wish I added a lining inside but the thing is I did not have any material for the lining uh, all I'm wearing is a safety short inside and that kind of works too I guess so yeah what do you guys think leave your comments down below I will see them and I will see you in the next one bye have a good day Stay safe.